For as long as, well, about 4 billion years, organisms have been having relationships with each other. Whether they be friendly, heterosexual, homosexual, or just plain sexual, humans and animals alike have been interacting with each other forever. But what happens when those humans don't want to engage in a more than friends kind of relationship with each other? Then what do they do? Where do they go? What does the relationship turn into? These are the questions I will explore that will hopefully uncover the mystery and phenomenon of the friend zone. I first started off my research by doing a little Googling, and what I found was somewhat surprising, at least to me. According to the ever-so-credible source Urban Dictionary, the friend zone is what you attain after you fail to impress a woman you are attracted to, usually initiated by the woman saying, you're such a good friend to me, and associated with long days of suffering and watching your love interest hop from one bad relationship to another. I was shocked to read that most males feel they are the victims of the friend zone, mostly because I can count at least five occurrences of myself being friend zoned. So at that, I decided to get some other people's opinions of what they believe the friend zone to be. Well, friend zoning someone is when a male, generally, is trying to enter the bone zone and is uh, stopped generally before he reaches first base. ...of the friend zone, I feel like that is when um, either a guy or a girl, depending on which one is doing it, they kind of are maybe like in a flirtatious stage with someone and then you kind of put a call on the fact that you guys are just friends and you're not really going to take your relationship to the next level. I think when you put someone in the friend zone it just means you like them and you like spending time with them but you're just not attracted to them enough to want to date them and have a relationship. You just like being with them. Next, I wanted to find out where the term even came from. According to the even more trustworthy search engine of Wikipedia, the term was popularized by a 1994 episode of the American sitcom Friends, entitled The One with the Blackout. In this episode, Ross, known to have always been in love with Rachel, was described by Joey as being the mayor of the friend zone. The question of whether a man can ever escape the friend zone and begin dating one of his female friends helped make the geek dream couple of Ross and Rachel's storyline dramatically compelling, according to viewers. As much as that sucked for Ross, he was eventually able to escape the friend zone and get over the embarrassment of ever being in it. However, Rachel didn't suffer too much from any friend zone side effects, considering she was the zoner herself. Had she ever even been friend zoned before? I have never been friend zoned. I don't think I've ever been friend-zoned Seems to me that men are kind of right about women always being the zoners. But whoever the person is that does the friend-zoning or becomes stuck in it, one thing remains true. Some really great stories do come out of it. And maybe even great relationships. Or awkward ones. This girl wanted to hook up with me a lot, but I didn't like her like that. So I basically told her no. Was she upset? Yes, she was. She was very upset. My best friend since seventh grade was in love with me for about four years, and uh, that never went anywhere. So he was stuck in the friend zone. Yeah, he was definitely stuck in the friend zone. <laughs> my one of my good guy friends came to visit me last week, and he was completely friend zoned. Tried to make moves, but wasn't happening. Moral of the story here is that it's obviously no fun to be in the friend zone with someone. So ladies, try not to be too oblivious to the signs a guy is giving you. Guys, try to be a little more vocal about your feelings. And Savannah, just stop trying altogether.